I would say the most influential woman I know or women would be both my older sisters. Heather Jacobs, she's the head coach for the women's basketball team. The most influential woman that I know has got to be my mom. I would say the most influential woman that I know is my mom. Suzanne Hollis, she was my camp counselor two years ago. When thinking of a woman in my life that inspires me day in and day out, uh, I think of my mother. My mom, she's, she's the bomb. Like she's taught me so many lessons. Um, she moved here as a kid from Panama with her parents and dealt with a lot as a black woman who spoke Spanish, living in places that weren't necessarily the most diverse. And she changed my life. If it weren't for her, I obviously wouldn't be here. That's how life works. But she gave me the courage to move out to Boston. I'm originally from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And without her, she she gave me everything I needed to make me believe I can do this. I feel like you really don't see a lot of all the behind the scenes stuff that they do when you're younger. You're just kind of focused on being a kid. But growing up and maturing, she's kind of shared with me all of the tough times she's gone through and currently going through. And I just feel like it's amazing that she never let me or any of my siblings know that stuff was hard when we were kids and she just continued to like persevere. She wants you to truly just be yourself and be comfortable with who you are and just to like continue growing and know that change is like okay. It was very helpful because she taught me a lot on what it takes to be a coach and seeing how she coaches in live action with so much passion and fire um, definitely inspired me to go chase that. She supports me and my siblings and everything that we do and she also supports me in volleyball and like across the country she watches all my live streams and she's one of the hardest working women that I know. I think I'm finally starting to understand, you know, what it really took for, for my mother to put us in, in positions to succeed. And I think I've never really showed her the appreciation for that. You know, the unconditional love that my mother's always had for me, um, no matter what I've done on my best days or on my worst days, I've always felt love the same. And um, I could truly never say thank you enough for that. But it's been through the generations, it's like women have been in the background doing a lot of things, right? Like. A lot of things don't get done if women aren't involved. And even as women now take on positions of leadership and power and, you know, being CEOs of organizations, um, there's still a lot that they're fighting through. Like we still have to deal with some of the stigma or we can't show up as, you know, aggressive as others because it's viewed as a negative or more importantly, I would say we feel like we've got to hustle and, you know, claw and fight and do all these things um, just to be seen, you know? And so I think it's important just to share how awesome we are as women, uh, to celebrate how amazing women are just for being themselves, right? Like the moms who are stay-at-home moms, uh, the women who are CEOs and don't want any kids, the, the women like myself who are pet moms, right? Like. We all bring such value to this world and there aren't enough places that we're gonna hear somebody tell us that. If I could just tell her something right now, I'd just be like, thank you for literally showing me that it's okay to be myself like around anyone. And that if people like don't, I guess, accept me for who I am, that it's okay, like that's fine. I'm gonna find other people that are gonna accept me for me. Thank you, mom. You've, you've truly given me everything, like I said and I'm so excited to see you next week to show you my home. You're gonna be coming out here for spring break, so I love you, I'm proud of you, I know you're proud of me, and thank you. Thank you, Ma. Um, te amo, uh, thank you for everything. Um, you've been there since day one. I mean, even when I have a bad game, you'll tell me I had a good game, even though I know I had a bad game, and those things like that, you know, you always made sure I had food on the table, clothes on my back, and um, definitely could never repay that. I want to tell my mom that I love her so much and I'm really fortunate to have her in my life. I couldn't imagine having anyone else raise me and support me in everything that I do. Happy National Women's Month to all the women that have, you know, pushed history forward and are still pushing us forward. You're seen, you're recognized, and we appreciate everyone. I just look forward to seeing you soon and being able to hug you and pick on you and, you know, just love on you the way that you love on me. So thank you. Thank you so much. I just want to say I love you. Uh, I can never thank you enough for, for putting me in the position that I am today and, and uh, you know, raising me and, and my two siblings uh, to be who we are. 
And I promise that, you know, no matter what, as a family, I'm always going to be there for you. And I can never thank you enough.